The Federal Reserve has already cut rates here in the U.S. three times this year. With an upcoming meeting in December, there could be another possible cut. So we're looking at at least one more federal rate cut, which will again dig us into this deeper hole. This centrally planned economy of the U.S. would be the envy of any Soviet. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. Today the Fed cuts interest rates by a quarter point. The Federal Reserve cut short-term interest rates for the third time this year, in an expected bid to strengthen the economy. But Chair Jerome Powell signaled that further reductions are on hold amid an outlook for moderate growth. Today's rate cut is just a small one-off mid-cycle adjustment. The increased POMO operations are small, targeted, and brief, necessary only to deal with a temporary tax timing liquidity hiccup. Further actions will be taken on an as-needed basis. As then-presidential candidate John McCain stated in October 2008, the fundamentals of our economy are strong. Not to worry more debt more rate cuts and new highs in the undervalued stock market. Just enjoy it, get out there and buy another Apple product and get on Facebook or Instagram and do your patriotic duty and spend more. It's the greatest economy in American history. Obviously, the deficit doesn't matter. Obviously, $2.2 trillion in repo, soon to be $4 trillion, doesn't matter. The trade deal really doesn't matter. It's so crystal clear, Powell has no idea, he is a mere pawn. Those most responsible for getting us to this point know the whole system will implode but don't care when, they are insulated, tails they win, heads you lose. They obviously prefer for things to go on as normal for as long as possible, but they have farmed us for so long, they know how to wait out the storm, rinse and repeat. They rely on one inexhaustible human trait, greed. There will always be patsies who will work like dogs, sacrifice anything, even their souls, to climb the greasy pole of the rigged system. These sociopaths are the hired guns, the enforcers that shield the elite and keep the rest of us in line. The Federal Reserve has destroyed the free market economy with eight years of quantitative easing and low interest rate manipulation. Fed policy has caused massive asset inflation which causes higher mortgage, rent, gas, food, etc. charges so there is simply no money left to keep retail stores in business. Wall Street is booming while Main Street is collapsing. John Williams of Shadow Stats states we have had 10% inflation for 10 years. The banks have won and the American people have lost just as Thomas Jefferson predicted. Never believed the conspiracy theories before, it was just too fantastic and paranoid. Not anymore. Wanna know why there are now more $100 bills in circulation than $1 bills? With all these rate cuts, the American slaves are going to need some sort of fresh paper that they can throw into a 55-gallon burn barrel, as they get adjusted to their new homes underneath the interstate overpass. If you want more proof that everyone at the Fed, and the mainstream media, lives entirely outside of reality, let's revisit what Madam Powell at today's Federal Open Market Committee meeting. I think we would need to see a really significant move up in inflation that's persistent before we even consider raising rates to address inflation concerns. Obviously, nobody working for the Fed has had to set foot inside of a grocery store for a very, very long time. Now let's review two bullet points from the CNBC article, here's how the Fed rate cut affects you. The Federal Reserve's decision to cut interest rates may mean cheaper loans for most Americans. At the same time, consumers will earn less interest on their savings. Absolutely no mention about rising costs at the gas pump and the checkout line. Instead, they are ecstatic about the fact that the debt serfs will be able to go even further into debt. This is beyond the clown world. The average working man is getting robbed blind, and yet he is too distracted with the latest sports ball game to notice that anything is happening around him at all. If the working serfs had any sense of self-awareness, they would be rioting in the streets and burning down every bank and government building in their city. Trump is the same man who took ownership of the big fat ugly bubble that he railed against during his campaign and then proceed to call it the best economy ever. Just another day at the rigged casino. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.